We're going to make a quick and easy curry that's delicious and a little bit different. For a taste sensation, get yourself some higher welfare minced beef, cauliflower, coconut milk, fresh mint, and spicy rendang curry powder. Time to spice up your life a little bit. Oh, yes. So let's get cracking. Let's turn this pan on. Let's get it nice and hot. Little oil in a pan. I've got some really nice quality mincemeat here. As that pan starts to heat up, that will start to sizzle. And then we want to go in with one heaped teaspoon of this incredible rendang powder. It's from Indonesia. And in one ingredient, you get the benefit of like 10, 15 different spices. You've got things like coriander seeds in there, turmeric, ginger, galangal, lemongrass. If you can't find rendang curry powder, pastes are a great fast track to flavour too. So look, we've got a few little twists in the tail. Uh, the first twist is we're going to use cauliflower in the curry, because I love a bit of cauliflower roasted or kind of seared, scalded in this little curry, so that's nice. But I'm also going to make some cauliflower rice, which is kind of a bit trendy, but I quite like it. Cut off some little fleurettes. Just break them off like that. Just give yourself nice little chunks. Don't want them too small. Don't want them too big. Put half to the side for the rice and place the other half into the pan. And I kind of just want to slightly burn it on one side, dare I say. I want to get a bit of colour on there. Let it cook over a high heat for around 10 minutes, giving it an occasional stir. Now, let's make cauliflower rice. If you put some mint leaves in it, it's really delicious and it holds on to sauce in a beautiful way, so it's well worth a little go. Throw in the mint leaves with the rest of the cauliflower, stalks, leaves and all. We'll season now as well, so the seasoning and the mint gets into it. Lid on and give it a pulse. But what's nice is the mint and the leaves give you the most fantastically beautiful green colour. Get it into a heatproof bowl. And then what you want to do is just cover it with some cling film, whack it in a microwave, about four and a half, five minutes, bosh. Now, back to the pan. As I turn these, see, that's what I'm talking about. Gnarly. Attitude, flavour, really, really gorgeous. Let's shake it up. Once the cauliflower's charred to perfection, add a tin of coconut milk. And then half a tin of water. And then give it a nice little stir. Bring it to the boil and let it reduce by half so it's creamy and delicious. After around five minutes, this should be ready and the cauliflower rice should be ready. Happy days. Here we go. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. So that'll be light and delicious. This, it's pretty much reduced. It's now getting creamy. The only thing I'm going to do now is just add most of my mint. Beautiful. And just stir that through. Oh. So there you go, guys. Spicy, creamy, oh, and the smell. <laughs> right, let's plate up. What I like to do is just kind of ruffle it up and let it just fall in like that, snowing. You know, we do love a curry, and if we're all honest, we tend to stick to the same ones all the time. And, you know, to try something a bit different, different blend of spices, really nice. And when it's as quick and easy as this, you know, it's worth having a go. food. It's light spices. You know, it's quite fragrant, but still complex. Different spices, different vibes. Super quick and super easy.